My worry is all of that kind of focus on health and risk and, and that kind of focus, it, it often assumes a certain kind of sex from the starting point. And actually, we could probably address some of these things we're so concerned about better by talking about pleasure and what people find pleasurable. So if you think about it, if you go in with like, oh, people are going to have penis and vagina sex, it might lead to teen pregnancy, it might lead to STIs, you know, then you're kind of constructing a kind of normal sex, which is penis and vagina. Whereas if you go in like with, what's the whole sexual menu? What are all the different things that people can do? You might find that, you know, there's less pressure to then have the riskier, you know, from a health perspective kind of sex anyway. So, you know, it's not good for anyone to have this very limited menu, whereas what we could be doing is thinking about sexting and cyber sex and phone sex and mutual masturbation, masturbating with, with a partner there or alone, solo sex of all different kinds, writing erotica, looking at, you know, sexual media, you know, you name it, and, or on and oral sex, anal sex, all the other different kinds of ways of being with different body. You know, and that idea that for you know for all sex, it's about starting with you know this is a new body that I'm having an encounter with. How does this person work? What do they enjoy? What do I enjoy? You know, Dan Savage says you know start with what gets you hot. It should be the first question, and I like that idea. And I think that we're not anywhere near to suggesting that to to kids and young people in terms of their sexual encounters. I think activities can be one way in, you know, um, but they don't necessarily need to be written activities. So the one that um, we did today, um, the, the event that we're at was about a handshake and getting people to uh, negotiate a handshake. Um, and that didn't necessarily need to be a spoken negotiation, but it could be more like, let's try something, let's play around with it, let's see what our hands like doing together, you know. Let's, uh, so, you know, I think it, it, obviously in a, in a classroom setting or a therapy room, it can be difficult to do more bodily exercises because that sometimes there are restrictions around what you can do and then you know spoken ones are good and it's also just good to get people using language you know so often we just get loads of words up on the board you know what are the languages people want to use to talk about pleasure um, but I also use um, artwork quite a lot so I get people making collages um, or models about their sexual experience you know you could maybe model a, a, a positive one and a negative one or like how they feel in their sexuality when they're in a safer space or a more risky space you know that that kind of activity can be a really good way in that people respond really well to you know for so one one way I've done that is with LGBT uh, young people so they they model how they feel in their sexuality when they're in an LGBT space versus in everyday life so they create two models. It could be Lego, plasticine, a collage. And it would take maybe 20 minutes to make the two models. And then we'd have about 40 minutes for discussing the differences between the two models. You know, that, that's a really good way in. Um, it's useful to open up different activities and exercises there whereby people can start doing it more like the yes, no, maybe lists where people make a whole list of all the sexual practices they're aware of. You know, and maybe even questioning the line between sexual and other practices. So you might want to include sensual things like massage and stuff on there. You might want to include, you know, more erotic stuff that maybe not sexual per se. A big long list, and then they can put yes, no, maybe whether they'd like to do that thing. Um, so you know, it starts to expand the, the sexual imagination, and it also starts to get thinking about consent and what people, you know, consent to or not.